It's a cold winter's morning, here deep in the inner northern suburbs of Melbourne. His name is Joe, known in the streets as a Bando Joe. Graffiti artist, drug enthusiast, standover man, and self-proclaimed king of the laneways. A complicated and often misunderstood character that on closer inspection is a lot more than a foul-mouthed, hard-drug-using, offensive man-child. I'm Natasha Parker-Brown, and you're watching A Portrait of a Tortured Artist, a Bando Joe. We first met Joe last year, interviewing the now controversial street artist, Blister. I believe that street art is the final frontier of true artistic integrity. Blister, you go. Quick, cat! We had the opportunity to sit down with Evando Joe and to get a better understanding of the mysterious man behind the mask. So, Abando Joe, can you please explain to me the origins of your name? Oh, uh, yeah, well, my parents called me Joe, and uh, I guess Abando just comes from hanging out in Abandos and shit. And what's an Abando? You know, a fucking Bando, an Abando, an abandoned fucking lot. You know, uh, a place before it gets turned into some fucking condos. So some fucking gentrifying hipsters from interstate can move in. You know what I mean? I just like fucking chilling there, you know? Uh, they, they're fucking grimy places, mate. Grimy, just like Joe. <laughs> and they're good for hunting. Hunting fucking toys. Robbing fucking Gronk toys. That's what I fucking love to do. So for the people at home, what's a toy? Oh. A toy! Fucking, you know, whack cunt, shit at graph, fucking some millennial fucking writer that spends all his fucking time on Instagram. Hmm, okay. I think I get it. Now, Joe, what do you think about all of these street art murals that have been popping up over the last decade or so? I mean, it's a love-hate relationship, you know. Um, if I see another one of those arty party fucking giant faces, I'm gonna vomit, you know? But on the plus side, these cunts, they're fucking soft as fuck, you know? flip wristed fucking hipsters, trust farm babies, and fucking chicks. And they all use that real good fucking puff to paint, you know? Interesting take, Joe. I'm not too sure how I feel about you robbing women, but I certainly understand your take on the generic murals we're seeing pop up everywhere these yeah. days. No one wants to see that fucking shit, right? <laughs> now, Joe, I've got to ask you about the mask. For some reason, I don't think it's to protect yourself and others from COVID. <laughs> what the fuck is COVID? <laughs> no, I'm fucking serious. What the fuck are you talking about? The coronavirus, Joe. You know, the global pandemic that's killed nearly 800,000 people. Oh shit, eh? <laughs> I wonder why every cat was wearing a fucking mask. So I take it you don't have the internet? Or even a phone? Ah, uh, the in- Nah, fucking internet? I don't like that Facebook shit, eh? <laughs> nah, uh, come across plenty of phones though. Um, you know, this rich trust fund fucking baby wannabe fucking Eshe cunts got mad ones, man. I fucking trade them for drugs, man. I trade them for fucking drugs and paint. Hmm, interesting. But what about the mask, Joe? Oh yeah, me mask. Well, I was doing a, uh, I was doing a street art demonstration for a local art collective, and uh, I decided to incorporate some performance art. Really? <laughs> fucking no! <laughs> a band out doing fucking performance art. Come on! Yeah, I'm just fucking ugly, hey. 
I got fucking scabs on top of scabs here. I've been doing amphetamines for like 30 fucking years. Wanna have a look? Nope, no, it's okay. So what would you say to some people who think that you're a bad man who deserves to be behind bars? Well, I bashed that blister cut and look what fucking happened with him, right? <laughs> Only ever bash fucking maggots and fucking wannabe hard cuts, you know, fucking whatever. So, what's in the future for a Bando Joe? Uh, well, I need to get on, uh, then probably a little more drinking, and then uh, maybe a little bit of murder. Uh, first things first, though, I'm gonna take this fancy ass fucking camera off your hands. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah, bitch. You're being fucking robbed. Oh! Abando Joe tried aggressively to steal the camera, but after a brief struggle with the crew, decided it was too much effort for someone who's been drinking since 9am. Last thing we heard of Joe was that he was offered studio space at a prominent Fitzroy gallery with the promise of an exhibition to follow. One can only assume that he has either blackmailed the owner or that they think he's some kind of next level performance artist. Either way, we can't help but to be happy for the somewhat lovable rogue known in the streets as a Bando Joe.